All right, guys. So we're here for a figure review of the ultimate. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the box? Yeah. So Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's the box? Just like most of the ultimates, they got like a picture of the actual him and the actual figure of him. Got the sides. All that good stuff. Any Watch. backwards hat too? Yeah. Did you ever do a backwards hat? No. Well, don't but do I it. Do. <laughs> don't, don't do that to my figure. <laughs> God, I don't know where to start with this one. Uh... I love the head sculpts. Like they are They're really good. Yeah, they're That's my good. favorite, I think. This reminds me of uh, the one you know when he would say something then he would stop and get very serious. Or I don't know, no, there's what face is that? And th no, he would laugh, yeah. He would do this laughing face and then his face would get dead serious afterwards. That's this face right here. The face he's kind of got on him is like he's telling you something. Yeah. Okay. And the shirt was like, uh, it actually pulls over his body. Like a lot of them were doing the Velcro, but it's like it actually, like you put on a shirt, you know, mm -hmm. like, pull his head, pull his arms in and stuff, and it's like stretchy. So, you got the Stone Cold Skull in the back. Uh, I mean, I've already posed them too, but like, Let's see. He's got the chain too. Was the chain like when he was kind of first turning to Stone Cold, or I've I remember I've seen pic. It's like I I see pictures of like promotional pictures of him wearing the chain, but I don't really remember exactly when it happened. I can't remember if it was on the box or not. Um, let's see. <clears throat> There's some of the stuff I've messed around with, some I haven't. I'm just kind of bringing out stuff. It's like the Stone Cold Cerberus. That looks like he's talking. What? <laughs> what? What? Was he the one that said that? He the yeah, he thing. started the what thing that I hate now. Yeah. He, he uh... That's the one thing. Gosh, I wish Stone Cold would have never started with the what chant. I hate, I hate that chant more than any chant I think in wrestling. Not when he did it so much, but when, you know, it's been, God, it's been a long time, and people still do it to this day. I hate that. Yeah, I don't like it. Comes with a belt. Um, it's hard to get it. But it's the blue, uh, the Eagle belt, Eagle World Championship belt. Yeah. Was it was it blue when he was champion too, or? I don't remember being blue. I remember being black, but maybe it was for a certain time period. Actually, maybe this is from when he first won it because, you know, he he wore he actually um, eventually started carrying the Smoking Skull belt. That's the oh, one I remember yeah. him for. But this might might have been early in his career. Possibly. I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. And it comes with the vest, too. Um, it's like a rubbery material. Um, it's kind of like leather. I haven't tried it on them yet. This is your only Stone Cold figure you got, right? Man, like, I've seen so many Stone Cold figures, and, like, there's always something wrong with them. Like, the the, the main thing is the face. They, they never they get his face right, face. but they, it's good on this one. They nailed it with this one. Like, I mean, every single one of these are just perfect. I mean. Yeah. I even had, like, the, no, no, I had the SH Figure Arts one. Right. Um, and it was good, but, like, it wasn't as good. And the SH Figure Arts is, like, retail for double what this is usually, so... They're very small scale too, aren't they? They're not. They're yeah, not they're six not inch like scale. four or five. No, they're probably like five inch. Which oh, this one. They don't go very inch. well with anything else. Yeah, I guess they try to do that to get you to buy their stuff. Like the Marvel stuffs like that too. I kind of want to try that vest on them. I haven't did it yet.
the vest. Take our shirt off, Stone Cold. Now, I will say the only thing I don't really like about the figure. Well, let me, let me reserve judgment on that. You take off the shirt. Yeah. I'm um, nervous there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to rip it. Man, it sucks like, with this stuff. Like, if you... Like, the Hogan, one Hogan I had, like, it messed up the uh, the vest he had or yeah. the shirt or whatever it was. Right. We didn't mess it up, but it just got messed up. And uh, it's not like you can go to Target and just find one and replace it, you know? No. It's like... I'm not seeing that Hogan anywhere else either now. No, nah, it's like they, they're doing two at a time. Like this year was, you know, or this series was him and Ric Flair. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just come out and then they're gone and that's it. And then <laughs> well, <laughs> it got stuck in his mouth. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, man. I know. I'm trying to be like. Gentle. Man, it hangs on the joints too and I'm like good I'm trying to get it done too so like we're not y'all ain't watching me just take some okay. this shirt off for five minutes so you're definitely going to want to keep this shirt on <laughs> something you're not going to want to keep him with nothing because that looks pretty weird. He's got so many joints. Yeah. It's like the butterfly joints, the shoulder joint, and like everything that can move, basically. That's the thing with the Ultimates. It's like you go from Ultimates, from Elites to Basics, and it shows the sculpts are basically the same, but they have like so much more articulation. So this is the one thing I don't like about it. The body's not right. It's too skinny or something. Like, everything else looks good, but it just seems like it's too thin for Stone Cold. Yeah, he was kind of burly. He was never, like, big, but I mean, like, yeah. No, but he was, kind of, he was kind of big. His chest is bigger, but maybe they do that for articulation purposes so they can move better. Yeah, I wonder how easy those arms will come out. I don't know. So I may have to do that to put this in. And once you get the vest on, it may look normal. I don't know. That's true. That's going to be hard to get in. Yeah, I guess that's one of the reasons for the butterfly joints, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, you, you're going to have to use them. Wow. Yeah. If they weren't like that, you wouldn't be able to get that vest on. I mean, I imagine they pop out, but I'm just like... God, I get to be weird with this stuff. It's like, yeah, it only costs 30 bucks, but... Okay, yeah, you have to roll over every target to find one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, it looks pretty good with the vest. It looks really good with the vest. Yeah, that kind of fixed all the things. Yeah, uh, I guess. And see, I'm sure a lot of thought of that goes into it. I'm sure they, when they make these, they're like, well, he's going to look a lot thicker once he puts the vest on. Yeah. So. I kind of want to do the fist pose real quick. They don't uh, give you They don't give you the, uh, the, the middle finger, do they? No. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's PG oh, era. Oh, well, they're not going to do that for a kid's figure anyways. I mean, it's not like a... I mean, they're selling these at Walmart. They're not going to have a figure with Stone Cold flipping the bird, I'm sure. I don't know why I was thinking they would actually do that. You know, <laughs> that's just not feasible. Yeah, it's right there beside... Uh... Yeah, blush stuff. Dang, that thing's tough. I thought I changed his head already. Maybe not. Okay. God dang. Let me see it. Careful. Well, that joint's too big for his head, I think. I don't think you can get that on there. That's the head. Try which one do we not have on? This one's bigger. You see that? This one's got like a. Oh deep. my god! Are you serious? I am serious. Oh, that sucks. So like, 
basically that was the one that came with the one that was on his head. So I guess I never changed his head. I thought it did. Uh, these won't fit. And that's what it looks like. Why would they do that? <sighs> to piss you off. That's crazy. So yeah, that's a totally different fitting. God, I wonder if you just... It's not even close to the same fitting. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You might can snap it in there if you pushed hard enough, but it's not made for it. I mean, you have to work it in. Um, one of the tricks too is like you can actually take like a hair dryer and like warm it up, and it kind of loosens it up. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but no, no, I can imagine that working. It's cool. <sighs> See, we don't do these figure reviews in advance. We don't think about this stuff. We don't think about <laughs> We don't think about nothing <laughs> at all. We just review them, and we run into problems as we go, and you get to see it live. Good God. I'm trying not to, like, put... Too much pressure. Did you get it on there? It's working in. You got Good it. God, that was a God. thud. I don't, I'd be scared to pull on it now, though. Is it the head you actually like, though? Well, it's like wanna see like the Oh yeah. That pose and the face is perfect for it, so I can't believe they why would they do that? Why would they do that? I don't get it. I see how his arms can come up though. So they look about right. Yeah, yeah, his that arms looks good. Kind of flex, but Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Um what's some other stuff? Oh, they got the tattoo of the... Yeah, Texas. Yeah, it looks really good. That's good, though. Ah, that's, that's weird, though. You have to... Have, have you run into any more issues with figureheads being like that? I don't think I have with Ultimates, but I have with other stuff before. Like, why wouldn't they make it the same? You know, it makes you wonder sometimes, too. Did they ever use these head sculpts for something else? And they just put it in there with it and didn't think much about it. I don't know. It's, it's something like I told you about the uh, I bought an AEW. It was Penta L Zero M, like the new version of Pentagon Dark. Yeah. And uh, it came out the fist. I was so excited. I seen. It, I was like, oh man. Cause it's, it's just like, an error. I like him all the way from like Lucha Libre. Did you get stuff. another one with the fist? I can't find them. That's uh. No, the fist, like the extra fist. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the extra fist. Yeah. You? And you didn't want to keep him anyways. What do you mean? Did you keep the figure? Yeah, that's okay. I okay, okay, I got you. I yeah, thought maybe yeah. you took it back or something. No, that's what I was trying to do, but like... You just can't get another one, so... Yeah, is the fist, just, extra fist really worth it? Um, just as bad, honestly. If not worse, but... Yeah. Hmm. It's good, though. I like it. It's a very good figure. I mean, other than that, like, it's about a perfect Stone Cold figure. I mean... Mm -hmm. I've looked at, like, the basics, elites... Um, SH figure arts I have one. Stone Cold is just hard for I don't it's it's always been a hard figure for them to really nail. Like you said, especially the face scope. It's always terrible. Yeah. I mean sometimes they nail, sometimes they don't, and it's just They have there's there's certain wrestlers like they, they can make the sculpts and they always look good. And then there's some they just can't get usually get right. Uh well they were doing like those FX uh face sculpts, like they were advertising yeah. like the last year or two I guess yeah I remember. Mm -hmm. and I noticed they got better but it didn't fix them all like some of them it just looked like they got their eyes but like it was shifted or something or like their eyes were too close or too far apart or something right you know? it's just I mean it is what it is so yep so this is the Austin Steve Austin Ultimates um you said they released Ric Flair right alongside of him yeah okay so this like two I forgot I don't even know this is what series numbers this is you trying to collect all the ultimates <sighs> man I'm starting to like them these are like getting like well you know I mean you're way bigger in wrestling than I am but like I like like Stone Cold is like one of my mm -hmm. top probably three of all time or something like that oh he's on he's, he's up there he but, is up there I mean honestly he's probably 
Man, besides Hogan, he's like one of the most important wrestlers ever, honestly. I agree. What was that? That was his necklace. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, who is the most? I mean, I think Hogan kind of is. He's the most important, one of the most important wrestlers of all time. I think you got Stone Cold, uh, Hogan. The Rock. Rock. Probably mm-hmm. Taker. Yeah, Undertaker. And maybe Shawn Michaels and... Ric Flair, actually. He was very important in wrestling. That might be the top five right there. I mean, like, I would consider, like... I can always think of more, though, because I even think of people like... Well, you you can't let the most important get uh, get influenced by your favorites. <laughs> you know, it's not the same thing. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I think our, both of our favorites is Hogan of all time. Yeah, but realistically, probably the best one of all time is probably Taker. I mean, as long as he's been going and stuff like that too. I mean, I know he's not like the most technically skilled, but he looks like the Undertaker's type. pretty good in the ring, though. I mean, he's he's especially for a big guy. He, he knows how to. Yeah. Carry a fantastic match. Um, I mean, he wrestled for, God. Man, he just finished his last match, that graveyard match with uh, AJ Styles. Yeah. About a year ago. And then, I mean, he started like in the late 80s or something. So, mm-hmm. but yeah. Man, him and Stone Cold, he's had some awesome matches. When uh, he was with the Ministry of Darkness. Yeah. Yeah, that I was mean, a good era. I even liked it because, like, even then, like, it wasn't, it was just a straight brawl with them, too. You know, there wasn't, like, a lot of interference with them, too. It was just, you were watching a good match. I know. Like, everyone, you know, really go at each other. And, you know, one would win, one with the other one would win, you know. Maybe we can get back to that kind of wrestling, you know. I got a good idea that wrestling's getting ready to get good again, especially after uh, last night. Yeah. I think, I think wrestling's going to start to pick up here soon. I think we're going to see... Um, I guess we can kind of share our general opinion, but like, um, I mean, historically, we're WWE fans. Right. I mean, re- wrestling in general, but like, AEW is really putting on some good shows. Mm-hmm. And they got some good figures, too. Which is yeah. what I'm worried about. <laughs> but yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah. It's, it's getting interesting, you know, and I'm glad to see it like kind of Starting to be competitive like again because yeah. since it's since it's not being competitive, I mean you got one person ruling the whole, you know, universe of wrestling. Yeah. Or one company and they can kinda of do whatever they want. Well, I don't think they can do whatever they want. I think it's getting ready to get mean. I wish it would though. I remember like I think my favorite career was like the mid to late nineties. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just wrestling across the board. I mean, like, you have an attitude error, obviously, in WWE. Mm-hmm. It was Stone Cold, but, like, WCW was good. Switch back and forth. And you could even watch ECW, too. Like, he's like, if you yeah, wanted to watch like, extreme uh, stuff, you watch that. What was it, Raw Mondays and Nitro Mondays? And, like, I would just switch back. like Back and forth, was... depending on seeing which, which was better. Yeah. Yeah, that was those were the days. And then, yeah, ECW, I think that came out late Saturday nights or something like that, from what I remember when mm-hmm. I was a kid. But yeah, I mean, good stuff. Hope it comes back to that soon. But. You gonna buy the CM Punk figure? That, well, they're gonna release it, obviously. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I was like, uh, like I've seen a good CM, CM Punk figure. Mm-mm. So been man, gone for AEW. seven years, and now he's back, and and gonna have an action figure. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Stone Cold. This is not CM Punk, and uh, it's a very good figure. What would you give it out of a ten? Man, it depends on that head. If I can get the head back on, they work in. God, probably about a ten, honestly. Really? Yes. Yeah, I think like an eight, eight and a eight and a half, maybe something like that. I like it a lot. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I just think. But you said the Ultimate's bodies are just made like that, anyways. Well, I mean, like they're made for it. in general, are like kind of. It's like their body chips size. And abs, chips and abs. So That's kind of true. Really, they don't really make them. Yeah. To their bodies to look. That much like different. they actually look like they want to look like what the wrestler like a good example is like uh, Chris Jericho like Chris Jericho not make fun of him he's awesome or anything like that but he had like some nerve damage yeah. in specs uh, Kofi Kingston has it they too. don't put that on the figures yeah it's kind of like a it's caved in like where your pecs would kind of connect yeah, right and it's caved in like in that area nothing mm-hmm. wrong with it but like they don't put that on the figure which yeah it's not accurate but like <laughs> You know, what's what's the point? Yeah, are you making fun of them, or are you just trying to be like 
and consider if you don't do it or you just trying to save money to make another mold. You know, I don't know what the answer is to that, but yeah, just, you know, one example, but yeah. Just kind of the nature of the beast. Like, I think it's weird. Like I go to toy shops and they'll have like loose wrestling figures mm-hmm. and it's hard to tell them apart from me. I'm like, underwear pants, underwear pants. And they use the same body molds <laughs> yeah. for a lot of them. Yeah, they do. I mean, like uh, skin tone's a little different here and there, but yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. Alrighty, well, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, you're giving it a ten. I'm giving it an eight and a half. So I'm gonna say a nine, nine and a half, just because of the head. The head, the switching of the heads too. Yeah. Painful. You're probably gonna keep this head on, aren't you? I'm gonna try it for a while. Yeah. And I kind of pray a little bit, and then maybe change it later on in the road. But yeah. all right, looks good. Stone Cold Steve Austin signing off. Weasel signing off. Caveman. Caveman. You got anything else to say? Caveman again. <laughs> signing <laughs> off. All right. No, I thought it would be funnier. All right, y'all. See ya.